plenty safe, there is an effect of inhibition. So if your dosing is not right, you put too much light into the brain, you cancel the effects. But that's and another that question that comes up. How do you know which wavelength to use, what color of light? Well, you pick lasers that fit, or LEDs that fit in these wavelengths, and there are thin enough tests in vitro to show that all of them produces responses in cytochrome C oxidase. So the wavelength itself is not such a critical choice. Part Although of the you problem probably some of the studies failed is because the dosing is not understood well enough to be able to try it on everything and get a beneficial. What effect. is it about these devices that is important? It is actually stimulating areas of the brain that make sense. It brings me back to this idea that dosing is absolutely critical. You have to do it right. They are designed for the children to wear. I mean, these are sensory children that have a problem with having a cap on their heads for 10 minutes at a time. So these things weigh 300 grams. They have no wires. You put them on the child. The child does whatever they need to do for somewhere between five and seven, eight minutes. This more than met the guidelines the FDA established for us as to what was a significantly, a clinically meaningful significant change. They wanted to see four points. So we went to our second study and we reproduced what happened in this open label study.